Hey, this is Julie Jordan Scott, the Creative Life Midwife, and I am so excited to talk to, talk to you today about how you can create your own mini retreat. DIY, anytime, anywhere. Like at your kitchen table, five minutes a day for five days a week, like we do at Five for Five Brain Dump. You could do a half an hour in your backyard on Saturday and Sunday, this coming weekend, or maybe you'll go out and about in your neighborhood, like I'm doing here in a sort of rural, nature setting in a very urban location. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a second. You guys have got to see this. So excited because I just found Yes, I just found my retreat basket, which is filled with all kinds of DIY writing goodies. And the good news is you can create one too. The retreat basket kind of makes your retreat anywhere you are. You just show up with your basket, whether you're at home, whether you're at a coffee shop, or whether you're in a remote yet urban place like the one I'm in, you're ready to go. Let me show you what's in there. One of the really cool things about a DIY retreat basket is you can put in here whatever is best for you. So here's some of what I brought. You might want to think of these same things too. I have one of my mini books. I have been making these mini books and let me show you what they have. This is, this is a teeny tiny eight page book that I made. And inside of it is the loving kindness prayer. I'm making one up for my daughter that has on the prayer of St. Francis. So you can personalize these for yourself. You can put writing prompts, you can put any kinds of stuff in there. So that's one thing that I have in my basket. I also have some index card art cards that I've been working on. <laughs> it's balanced, I'm on a log because I'm out in, a, in the wilderness near my home. So I have index card art that I'm working on. I could easily make these into prompts. I usually use book pages as the art. So there's lots of words, lots of possibilities there. I have a trusty notebook because doesn't every writer have a trusty notebook? I have lots of pens, pencils, colored pencils, um, Sharpies, uh, all kinds of writing accoutrement of variety of types. And I have some prompts that I've been using um, in my five for five brain dumps over time. So there's some new ones, there's some old ones, there's a variety. You know what happens with writing prompts is that they are alive. <laughs> they live just like we do and whenever you pick one up it's brand new and you can breathe more life into it so that's what I have right now in my retreat basket I'm actually on my way to the river to pick up some rocks because I want to have a rock at least one for my adventures so what might you put into your DIY basket what would you like to see more of in a DIY basket these are the kind of things I would love to hear from you in the comments because I'm willing to bet that this basket is going to go with me on my next road trip so I will be putting things in, taking things out, and personalizing it for each time that I'm, well, not each time, but for many of the times that I go out. So what would you like to see in a basket? What would help you to write on the go? And what would help you to feel grounded and centered in your process? So there you have it. Another way to create a sacred, fun retreat for yourself. Whether you are at home or out in a park like this one, walking along trails and finding surprising things. I would love nothing more than to work with you to create a life where this is the ordinary, because the ordinary and you are extraordinary and deserve nothing but transformation in a direction that you would like for it to take. In the description box, there are ways to reach me. I hope that you'll reach out. We can plan a transformational conversation or if you would like to go to my social media channels, watch me for a while, get to know me, and then reach out because nothing would make me happier than to walk alongside you as you discover your purpose, your passion, and create what's next in your life. Thanks for being here and please subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks so much. Because really, you never know what will happen next.